On November the 12th, Manny Pacquiao and Juan Manuel Marquez get it on for a third and most likely final time. Over their prior 24 rounds of action, really the only thing that separated these two, four knockdowns of Marquez by Pacquiao. One point, really, was the difference. Let's break down Pacquiao versus Marquez 3. Tale of the tape for the Pac-Man Manny Pacquiao, hailing from General Santos in the Philippines, 32 years of age with a record of 53 wins, three losses, two draws with 38 KOs. Last defeat, 2005 against Eric Morales. Stopped twice in his career, both by body shots, way back in the 90s. Manny turned pro in 1995 at the age of 16. And over the next 16 years, well, how about world titles and a record eight weight divisions spanning from flyweight to light middleweight that covers over 40 pounds? Manny has been the fighter of the decade with a style best described as juggernaut slash buzzsaw. The Pac-Man is nonstop in his attack. His greatest defense is his offense. But under the tutelage of Freddie Roach, he has become a much more complete fighter, adding better footwork, balance, and a strong right hand to complement his devastating straight left off his southpaw style. His opponent, Juan Manuel Marquez, hailing from Mexico City, 38 years of age with a record of 53 wins, 5 losses, 1 draw, and 39 KOs. His last defeat, a 12-round decision loss to Floyd Mayweather in 2009. Never stopped as a professional. Marquez turned pro in 1993 at the age of 19. And over the next 18 years, he has won six world titles in three weight divisions. Marquez is a skilled technician, precision puncher who can box, punch, or go to war. Equipped with a complete arsenal of punches, jabs, right hands, hooks, uppercuts, and, of course, being on the short list of greatest ever Mexican fighters, a tremendous left hook to the body and to the head. But does he have enough to finally conquer Manny Pacquiao? I drama in Las Vegas. We waited four years to see this rematch. Juan Manuel Marquez yes. trying to avenge all of Manny Pacquiao's triumph. The two fights between Manny Pacquiao and Juan Manuel Marquez has really been a tale of two punches. The straight left hand by Manny Pacquiao off his southpaw style that produced four knockdowns in the two fights and the Juan Manuel Marquez right hand that landed hard and often during their 24 rounds. Pacquiao and Marquez over two fights, you can really flip a coin. A draw on their first the rematch, one point, gives Manny the split decision win. Over the two fights, Marquez has won more rounds, and Manny has scored all four knockdowns. Even the numbers from CompuBox call it even. What do I think is going to happen on November the 12th? Well, first off, very few trilogies in boxing lead up to the thrill in Manila, the third epic fight between Muhammad Ali and smoking Joe Frazier. This one won't either. Since their rematch three years ago... Manny's gotten bigger and better, while Marquez has gotten older and, in my opinion, slowed down. He has not slowed down that much, but enough so Manny will break him down, cut him up, and become the first fighter to stop Juan Manuel Marquez. But along the way, and for as long as it lasts, the two will continue their war of will and skill inside the squared circle.